It's perhaps the scariest warning that the two biggest ice sheets on Earth in Greenland and Antarctica could melt so rapidly that sea levels could rise dramatically and lead to disastrous flooding. But will it happen? The problem was, scientists had no accurate estimates of how much ice was melting into the sea. But now what they've done is to map what's happening to the Greenland ice sheet using observations from 10 satellites and to look at the biggest ice sheet on Earth in Antarctica. Together, they contain 99% of the ice in the world. Red means ice is being lost and blue means there's more ice. Watch what's happened since 1992. Over the years, there are more and more red areas. Antarctic ice is melting. In Greenland, it's much the same, but faster. The graph shows how ice melts and reforms with summer and winter, but the overall trend is downwards and it's accelerating. Right now, the sea level rise from Antarctica and Greenland has been quite small. Um, since 1992, just 11 millimetres. But uh, the patterns that we see are worrying. Tripling of the sea level contribution over 20 years, that makes us concerned about what might happen over the next 100 years, and that's the sort of timescale that most people are concerned about. That 11 millimetre rise in sea level over the last 20 years is less than half an inch. It doesn't sound much, but it's the trends that are worrying scientists, and perhaps should be worrying politicians too, as they make decisions about how to tackle climate change. Lawrence McGinty, ITV News.